Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to share how I am going to make some charms using um, the Maggie Home Sweet Story. Uh, what are these called? Um, rubber accents. So originally I thought that these had a sticker on them, but they don't. So here's the back of them. So I thought it was perfect for charms. So I'm gonna make a few different ones and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make it and how um, what I used to make it. So I'm gonna use, I'm actually gonna use my crocodile. Um, I'm gonna use the, I don't know what this one's called, but it's the smaller um, side of the crocodile. They have the bigger hole and the smaller one. So I want it to be a smaller hole. I'm going to use that, but you can also go to the dollar store and get a, a hole punch from Dollar Tree. So it's just a little bigger, but you can also use an eyelet on some of them, like this one, which is bigger. So I'm going to use the rose... Uh, Round nose pliers, flat nose pliers, um, side cutters. I was debating on whether I was gonna use the split ring or the just the regular jump rings, but I'm just gonna use the regular jump okay, rings. So I'm gonna use some of these jump rings. Um, I always forget, they're either five or six millimeter, but I will link everything below. Um, I already had this chain. Um, hopefully, I can. I will be bringing some soon into the store. But you can pretty much get chain anywhere, any craft store, eBay, Amazon. I will link the least expensive place. That way, you guys can just go get it. And then some of this, uh, this string here. I'm just gonna start by making so I forgot to mention it but I'm making uh, a bookmark for this junk journal that I made um, I have a flip through I a video flip through I'll link it below I'm gonna fill it up with um, different uh, craft ideas or whatever and I use the sweet story collection so, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do... Let's do the um, little rainbow. Just going to pierce the hole into it. Oh, you gotta mess up. And there it is. I'm gonna grab a jump ring, a flat nose pliers. I have um, a bunch of flat nose pliers, so I'm gonna use another pair because it's better than using your hand to open these jump rings. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close it. So there it is. I'm gonna use the flower along with this one. The colors just go really well together. Okay, so the comparison of these two, you know, is different, obviously. And if you made a hole, that's a lot further down it wouldn't be such a big issue you could just use a bigger jump ring you know um, so I'm just going to go ahead and make the hole into this one so here it is you can use the string or you can use anything else that you have but I'm gonna go ahead and use chain on this one. So 
And this is the chain. And I don't have a ruler, but you want, if you're going to make it for, depends on what are you going to make it for, I would just open it up and check to see how long you want it to be. I'll check the measurements of it and then I'll just add. Okay. So you can just put your chain in the middle and see how much um, you want it to stick out. I kind of want the top of this to flow over into the front. So I'm going to keep a little bit of extra uh, chain on it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it with my side cutters. I'm just going to try to pull it apart because it's already cut and just had to pull it apart. So that's how long that's going to be. And I'm actually going to use the jump rings that are already on there to add it to the um, to the charm. So I'm just going to open this back up. going to add the chain so I'm going to change the jump ring just because the chain is really thin I'm going to use the same one I used on the first one on the second one to get um to get the uh, the chain in there get the charm in there and then the chain okay so I'm going to go ahead and close the chump ring. And add the other charm. Okay, so here's that one. And there it is. Put it in here. how it would hang. Turned out really nice, right? So I have another idea for these little um, rubber accents. So I'll be coming out with another video to show you a different way to use these. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.